So let me tell you just a little bit about these two new technologies. Uh, first is a B-Bot. It is a remote controlled beach cleaning device um, that mechanically sifts sand, rakes seaweed, and levels sandy areas to remove plastic waste and other debris without harming the local natural environment. The B-Bot is 100% electric and has low sound volume, limiting noise pollution and allowing it to run day or night. The second technology is a Pixie Drone, a floating remote controlled mobile waste collector that is designed for marinas and low or slow flowing waterways. The Pixie Drone targets floating waste in all forms, which allows it to collect organics, plastic, metals, glass, etc. This mobile device is also equipped with basic water quality measuring capabilities, such as water temperature and pH. Humans have an incredible ability to screw up the environment. And, uh, you know, when we go back to Muskegon's history, back in the, in the 19th century, the lumber barons came to Muskegon. They came to these coastal communities in general because they had all of this eastern white pine forest that was ready to be harvested. And the lumber barons looked out on this forest and they said, there's enough lumber here to last a century. And they basically wiped it out in 15 years. So when we look out on the Great Lakes and we say, oh my god, the vastness and the immensity, they can't possibly be screwed up. The reality is we can. And we do. Right now they're facing threats. They're facing invasive species, climate change, plastics that Laura referred to, too much nutrients resulting in harmful algal blooms. So it's our mission, all of our missions, in order to maintain and make sure that they're sustainable for future generations as well as today's generation. And with the technology that's being provided and the funding from corporate leadership like Meyer and nonprofits like the Council of Great Lakes Region, uh, we're, being, we're being able to actually implement this kind of activity. The Great Lakes Basin is the largest freshwater system in the world. Uh, keeping this vital water resource clean and free of litter is essential. Um, unfortunately, though, we do have an alarming plastic waste and litter issue in our own backyard. Millions of pounds of plastic are entering the Great Lakes every year, and some models are suggesting as much as 22 million pounds of plastic are entering annually. This not only impacts the Great Lakes wildlife, but also the 40 million Americans and Canadians that require the lakes for their drinking water. The Great Lakes Plastic Cleanup is a first-of-its-kind initiative designed to address this important issue. Using innovative capture technologies, we are cleaning up plastic litter at sites all over the region, including right here at Paramore Cat Beach. Once collected, the litter is then analyzed, providing valuable data that allows us to understand the scale of the problem that's facing the Great Lakes.